so I've been um, training myself to drive without having uh, my cell phone within hands reach so I'm not listening to any music or not talking on the phone at all so I find myself a lot more time with my thoughts and praying about stuff and I've just been thinking and praying about um, China these balloons and all these you know international intrigue of things flying around in the air and you know people shooting things down and all these stories about what they are what they are not um, what keeps coming to my mind is um, history repeats itself and um, I think if there's one thing true about China is China well they, they say elephants have a long memory I think China does too and if you remember back well, we were, most of us weren't born. I don't think any of us were at that time. 1937, Japan invaded Nanjing, China, and started a uh, um, campaign of mass killing. And uh, they called the Nanjing Massacre. And then they marched on down there, like 190 miles down to... Uh, Shanghai and just continued the destruction and then following that the Japanese Air Force uh, flew in and with their bombers and just bombed China at will and um, China's Air Force at the time um, they had uh, 400 no they were the Chiang Kai-shek uh, was the president and his wife was Madame Chang and uh, they were told by the Air Force they had 500 fighters. And when they did an audit, they found out they only had 90, 90 uh, biplanes to defend mainland China. And the, the Japanese flew in with their um, modern uh, uh, fighter planes and bombers and just were obliterating China at will. <clears throat> um, uh, Madam Chang, she did an international plea to the world saying, will somebody please send us aircraft to help defend our um, citizens from these attacks from Japan? And that request went unanswered until Joseph Stalin realized he could capitalize on this and he because he needed help because Japan was causing him problems um, so the Soviet Union under Joseph Stalin sent thousands of bombers and fighter planes equipped with you know all of their um, maintenance staff and flight crews uh, sent them to China and uh, they then brought destruction to Japan and uh, the Japanese Emperor is like whoa you know we're uh, uh, I think it was Hirohito he uh, you know they weren't expecting that and they anyway but my point is China asked for help to the world the United States was silent Canada was silent all of Europe and all the other continents were, were silent except the Soviet Union. And so now we have China nowadays. Uh, isn't it interesting that China and Russia are still friends? I think there's a reason for that because they help them in their dire time of need. Um, biblically, Gog and Magog refers to China and the Soviet Union and they work together in concert um, marching on Jerusalem that's in the Valley of Armageddon so these that that that, that allegiance is still strong and, and biblically it's going to go all the way to the end but what about the rest of the world 
Um, I think Xi Jinping, he was born, I believe, 1952. So he's a baby boomer. Um, born in a very poor family. And he's uh, he's overcome a lot of obstacles and risen to the you know to where he's at now in the leading office in China. I believe that man has a long memory. I believe he's a, a, a military tactician, and I really do believe that he is going to go after um, the honor of his family's name and get his revenge for the destruction brought on them. During, well, before World War II and during World War II. I think he's going to follow the playbook of what was done to them. He's going to turn it around and bring it right back full circle into the faces of the people who did them harm in the 1930s and 40s. That's my guess. Um... studying the life of Hitler, a lot of the terrible things he did, uh, he telescoped his plan in his book Mein Kampf, or My Struggle, and everything he said he was going to do in that book, he did it to the detail. And, um, you know, the, that book, The Art of War, uh, you know, the Chinese masterpiece, one of the things it says is to... Um, the best way to defeat your enemy is to make best friends with them. And uh, you can overcome them without a fight. And uh, you look what's happening in the White House. Uh, sure looks like our Commander-in-Chief is really admires and looks up to the uh, President of China. Um, so. We live in dark and terrible times, but um, the righteous have no reason to fear. Um, the Bible says even in, in death, the righteous have a refuge. So, uh, I just, it's just been something on my mind, and I thought I'd just make a quick little video about it. Um, how history is coming around full circle. Um, do not think that giving gifts to China is going to pacify... Uh, Xi Jinping, uh, he's going to get his pound of flesh from every nation that took from his people during the 19, late 1930s and 40s. And uh, whatever that history was, he's going to revisit it and go down. I promise you he has a checklist, and he's going to go down that list and get his pound of flesh from everywhere. Interestingly, one of the, one of the first places that Japan bombed was Wuhan, China. Fascinating stuff. Okay, bye.